The Habit Box is an engineered device that is focused on nutrition, parental support, and addiction recovery. It features unique design principles that prohibit the typical user override features that other devices have. The idea stems from the problem with easy access to a stash or materials that might be related to a bad habit that a user is trying to break. For example, a user might be addicted to their prescription medications. Typically, prescription medications are dispensed in specified amounts in hopes of preventing users from taking too many when they are not due for a refill. In the case of the habit box, a user can place their addictive medications in the box and set the timer to release the lock and allow access to the medications only at the specified times. The weight sensor system and visual monitoring will prevent the user from taking more medications than prescribed. This system is useful for materials and items where the user cannot easily access a new supply if they were to give in to their addiction or habit. Once the box is locked, there is no override feature like the iOS devices where the user can just turn the feature off. If the user wanted to go out of their way to indulge in their habit elsewhere, it takes far more effort. The habit box sees its most successful usage in scenarios where people are trying to limit their usage of certain substances or items and involves a far more strict design than other similar products on the market. Two similar gadgets exist in the market, the K-Safe time locking container and the minibar. K-Safe solution is made up of a countdown timer and a lock. It is a consumer item. The minibar is employed in the hospitality business. It is a refrigerator that detects when a guest takes an item and quickly charges their credit card. There are no technologies that can lock and monitor user activity in order to develop positive habits. Proper use of the habit box is as follows. User 1 removes one item from the habit box. The box automatically locks for the user input time. The box unlocks after the input time. Box continues to monitor items inside through a scale, locking again once one item is removed. Improper use of the box is as follows. User 2 removes more than one item from the habit box. The scale monitors items inside and it notices more than one item has been removed. The box locks for a longer period of time. The user reinforces healthy habits as they have to wait an extended amount of time to access the item. The main control component for the habit box is the Raspberry Pi 4. All data passes through this unit. A weight sensor allows the box to monitor the presence or absence of contents. An LCD screen is the main way in which the user interacts with the box. The screen is used for user inputs such as locking time and punishment locking time. The screen also displays current lock status. The locking mechanism prevents the user from accessing the contents of the box prematurely. This helps reinforce good habits and healthy decision making by allowing the user to access the contents only at specified times and in specified quantities. The housing for the habit box was designed and laser cut at the UNLV Makerspace. Future iterations of the housing design might see improvements in the aesthetics, chamber size, and durability. The spirit of our project is to encourage healthy habits by means of prohibiting access and tracking access to substances. Presently, our model is only capable of holding items of a certain size. We would like to offer larger models in the future to accommodate items of greater sizes in hopes that offering such a product could help improve some people's lives. As we produce this device, each of our members learn more about project management, engineering, and production methods. We are excited to enter the field of engineering with intelligent solutions that might assist and provide helpful information to the public. The goal of the Habit Box is to encourage health management. We believe in this goal and we've never had an occasion to question the validity of its intentions. A device that limits access to substances intended to be consumed or used in small quantities can benefit individuals struggling with proper motivation. A time lock in a sturdy container with access tracking can provide insight that makes the difference.